Welcome to this video about the Node-RED dashboard in which we're going to create a button in the taskbar and in the toolbar of the Node-RED dashboard. So we want the button to appear in the top right corner which we can use in our Node-RED software. So as you can see I've already created some dashboard with nothing special in it, just some uh, random buttons and sliders. We're not going to use them, we just need the toolbar for now. We're going to start by inspecting the website a little bit and getting to know how the website works of the Node-RED dashboard and where we should in the end add this button. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on the element information depending on your browser, this can be different. Uh, it will pop up a window in which we have a overview over all HTML elements in this uh, group or in this section. As we can see here, we have this diff right here, class MD toolbar tools. And this is the one in which we want to uh, append a button to. First, we're going to copy this clause definition. And then we are already set to go and to start to develop our function. Let's switch to Node-RED. We're going to work with the template uh, node. I'm going to drag one from the left side of the dashboard into my project and I'm going to put it into the home default group. First things first, we're going to delete all the contents and we're going to type, uh, we want to have a script and we're going to make the end of the script and inside here we're going to create the following function first. We need a function, scope, and then brackets. And in here, we're going to write our codes. At the end, we need to also add scope. The scope object is an object which transports data from the front end, so from the dashboard to the back end, so to the node red that runs in the background. The scope object can be used to transfer the msg.payload information between the dashboard and your specific uh, nodes in the template. So first, what we need, we want to define in which section we want to add a button. So let's say here, define section to add button we're going to call this the object so the object will be our toolbar so our object will be this diff and here we can um, write document dot query selector and then we're going to pass the class this md toolbar tools which we already copied with a dot in front which means that it's a class and this will then select the whole element up here and we can use it further. Then we will create a button. We will do it by creating button equals document.createElement button. Next, we're going to design the button or we're going to pass it some uh, attributes. So we're going to uh, write button, so uh, object btn dot inner html equals, and this is our button for this video, which will be called test. And then we're going to assign an ID to the button because we can always use the ID. We're going to call it and last but not least we're going to make it so the button if we pass it like this the button will be stuck here so what we want we want the button on the top right hand side we can do this by setting the margin of the button we do this by button dot style dot margin and then we can set the margins around the button Let's say we want a 5 pixel difference here, another 5 pixels here, and another 5 pixels here, and auto. 
the pixels are as follows we have first top right bottom and left side which means we have a top pixel uh, from we have a margin from 5 pixel from the right 5 pixel from the bottom 5 pixel and from the left it will automatically use the remaining pixels as a distance so you can remember this top right bottom and then left then we're going to pass object dot append child button so we're going to assign this part this object this task bar we're going to append this button we're not going to do the furthest part now we're first going to test if this button gets added correctly so let's press on done and let's go in here and we can already see a new button labeled test has been added if we reload we can see the button appears uh, when the page is reloaded so this worked what we now need is that we get some information about the pressing of this button let's see what happens right now if we pass the payload or we, if we add a payload debug in the end we deploy we press the button we see nothing happens here so we don't get an information about this button so now what we need is we need to get information from button to the payload and we will do this by editing this scope object first we're going to add an event listener for the click event and this will start this function right here so when we click this button uh, dot, and the event listener fires we want the following to happen scope dot send and then we will create the object with the attribute payload dot true so in case the button is clicked the payload of the object scope will be set to true which then will result in we receiving a true at the end of this template node and we can use this button in our project for further things so let's press done and then deploy and then this is important now you see some buttons appeared it's because a new script loaded always when you work with templates first reload the page so you can ensure that everything worked that your program has been put inside successfully and no double programs exist now let's press the button test and if you switch back we see now a true variable has appeared or the payload has been set to true we can repeat this multiple times and we see every time we get a true of course this true we can now use for a certain for certain interactions mm, for example we can set uh, some variable we can set if the if the if the boolean is true we can set the switch right here and let's say we check if the boolean is true so if msg.payload is true then let's make a change right here let's create a new text output right here to the home default tab we set it to true so let's connect these two with the text and deploy we see at the moment the text says nothing i reload the page quickly and i press text test and a true appears right here quick note for the debug these functions right here in the template they can get quite complicated so if you need to test your function and debug where the error happens where it doesn't work it is really useful to use the console of course you can't use the debug right here because the the calculation of this function happens in the front end so on the user's pc so let's make a debug point right here and let's make console.log that's how you log into your browser console hello done deploy 
and then we have to make we have to open our element informations again and then you will see it depends on your browser but you can see some part where it says console let's reload and we see here a hello has appeared that's how we can debug our functions in the template node thank you for watching and have a good day